Welcome. It's a great day of celebration for us here at St. Mary's as we celebrate the Sacrament of Confirmation. Uh, for some of you, this has been uh, quite a long preparation time, uh, almost 18, 19 months, and uh, uh, we are glad to be able to celebrate with you now, maybe no closer to 22 months, uh, isn't it? Yeah, so we're glad to be able to celebrate with you today. Uh, just a couple of uh, reminders. There's no photography during our celebration because we are all participants here. When we put our eyes behind a viewfinder, we become an observer and not a participant. Uh, we ask you to uh, uh, follow those norms of physical distancing as we come forward for communion. There are buttons on the floor, the stickers on the floor, to follow those and to move between them uh, as you're moving up the aisle. The final one says stand here and the minister of communion who's in front of you will say the body of Christ. You say amen while your mask is still on and in place and then, uh, as, and then, you, move, uh, then you move forward. We'll place communion in your hand. You come to where the chairs are, whether it's at the side or in the center aisles and then you uh, take the mask off, receive communion, put the mask on and continue your journey back to your place, okay? Uh, it is uh, uh, the confirmation celebration and the, the time of the confirmation. The candidates will come forward and the sponsors will come forward and they'll all still remain physically distanced as we celebrate that sacrament of confirmation. It's a great day of celebration. I invite you to stand and hum along with our gathering song. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. We gather with great joy this evening to celebrate the sacrament, to enjoy God's nearness and presence amongst us, and to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries we call upon God's mercy and forgiveness. You came to gather the nations in the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people, Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Fulfill for us your gracious promise, O Lord, we pray so that by his coming, the Holy Spirit may make us witnesses before the world to the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, a shoot shall come out from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear. But with righteousness, he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Let the Lord my soul, Lord God, how great you are. Clothed in majesty and glory, wrapped in light as in a robe. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. You take back your spirit, they die, returning to the dust from which they came. You send forth your spirit, they are created.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought. But that very Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. And God, who searches the heart, knows what is the mind of the Spirit because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So in days gone by, the bishop would typically question the candidates when he came and he would arrive in the parish for the celebration of confirmation. And I think that that questioning of the candidates was more about uh, checking whether or not the pastor had done his work to instruct the candidates than it was about the candidates knowing the answers to the questions. So should I ask you questions, right? That's 
sort of at the heart of it, and maybe I don't need to because I'm your pastor. But these sponsors, we don't know all of these sponsors. Some of them we do, but some of them we don't. So maybe we should ask the sponsors questions. All of a sudden, a whole bunch of heads sort of <laughs> avoid the eye contact and start looking away and all that kind of stuff. But I guess the question that I could ask is, is confirmation the first time we receive the Holy Spirit? And the answer is no. The first time that we receive the gift of the Spirit is in baptism. And today, we are sealing your baptism. We're sealing that gift of baptism. The Holy Spirit has been active in your lives already. And those gifts of the Holy Spirit are, are lying there, ready to be stirred up once again in this sacrament, to be sealed and strengthened once again. And each one of us should know those gifts of the Holy Spirit, wisdom and understanding and counsel and right judgment and fortitude and courage. We should know all of these gifts of the Spirit that we can access those gifts of the Spirit even when we don't know what to say. St. Paul said to the Ephesians, even when we don't know what to say, even when we don't know what to pray, the Holy Spirit himself can stir in our hearts and prompt us in our prayer. The Holy Spirit knows already what's in our heart, even if we haven't been able to connect our head and our heart. And this spiritual seal is going to strengthen you it's going to conform you closer to Christ. Conform you to be a witness. You see, you're being anointed tonight for a mission. Your mission is to carry Christ into every corner of your lives. You see, Father Nehemiah, James, myself we can't be in every corner of your lives but you are there in every corner in every aspect of your lives and so you're anointed for a mission to carry Christ into every corner of our world to be a witness to proclaim the power the mercy the the joy that you experience here around the table of the Lord. For here, nourished at the table of the Lord, your initiation is completed. And Sunday after Sunday, in this final sacrament of initiation, the Eucharist, you are renewed again and again, strengthened again and again for that mission to which you were anointed tonight. So be that witness of Christ, a witness of joy, of love, of power. Access those gifts of the Holy Spirit by calling upon the Spirit in prayer, even when you're, you don't have the words that you think you need. The Spirit will be there to prompt you and to assure you God's abiding presence in the midst of his church.
I invite the candidates for confirmation to please stand. Before you receive the, the renewal of the Holy Spirit, the seal of the Spirit, we invite you to call to mind the faith which you professed in baptism or which your parents and godparents professed with the church. So we want to hear a good, strong I do to each of these questions. We want them down in downtown Barrie to know that something's going on up here at St. Mary's. Do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? And do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? And do you reject Satan, father of sin and prince of darkness? And do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who today, through the sacrament of confirmation, is given to you in a special way, just as he was given to the apostles on the day of Pentecost? Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. I invite everyone to stand and to repeat after me, this is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, let us pray to God, the Almighty Father, for these, his adopted sons and daughters, already born again to eternal life and baptism, that he will graciously pour out the Holy Spirit upon them to confirm them with his abundant gifts and through his anointing, confirm them more fully to Christ, the Son of God. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who brought these your servants to new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, freeing them from sin, send upon them, O Lord, the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and fortitude, the spirit of knowledge and piety, Fill them with the spirit of the fear of the Lord. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite you to be seated. Candidates, I invite you to remember to bring forward your uh, name card to place it on the tray with Father Nehemiah. Olivia, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit.
Peace be with you. Cruise. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Emilio, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Javier, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. O Ben, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Caden, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Sienna, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Shay, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Dominic, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Michael, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Isabella, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Jacob, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Darcy, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Favor, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Michael, Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you.
Riley, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. John, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Hannah, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. My sisters and brothers, to God who has poured out the Spirit of Jesus upon all of humanity, let us pray in the Spirit, offering our prayers of intercession for these newly confirmed members of the parish, for peace in the world, and for the sanctification of the whole world. For these sons and daughters of God, confirmed by the gift of the Spirit, called to give witness to Christ by lives built on faith and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For parents, godparents, and sponsors who have led these young people in faith, that by word and example they may encourage the newly confirmed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Church of God, in union with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Cardinal Archbishop, and all the bishops, that God, who gathers us together by the Holy Spirit, may help us to grow in unity of faith and love until Jesus returns in glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are suffering, for indigenous people seeking truth and reconciliation, and for all who have suffered abuse, racism, or discrimination, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all first responders, for firefighters, and for those who have been displaced from their homes, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, for those awaiting medical treatment, and for all who have died recently, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear our prayers, O God of glory, and open for us the fountain of living waters, that the outpouring of the Spirit may enlighten your newly confirmed servants and all who wait in hope for the glorious day of redemption of Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Jesus, send us your spirit, renew the face of the earth. Come, Lord Jesus, 
Send us your spirit, renew the face of the earth. Come to us, Spirit of God, breathe in us now. We sing together. Spirit of hope and of life, fill our lives. Come to us, Spirit of God. Come, Lord Jesus, send us your Spirit. Renew the face of the earth. Come, Lord Jesus. Send us your spirit, renew the face of the earth. Fill us with the fire of your love, burn in us now. Bring us together, come to us, dwell in us, change our lives. O Lord, come to us, Spirit of God. Come, Lord Jesus, send us your Spirit, renew the face of the earth. Come, Lord Jesus, send us your Spirit, Renew the face of the earth. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Father, the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's holy church. Receive in your mercy, O Lord, the prayers of your servants, and grant that being conformed more perfectly to your Son, they may grow steadily in bearing witness to him as they share in the memorial of his redemption by which he gained for us your Holy Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, ascending above all the heavens and sitting at your right hand, he poured out the promised Holy Spirit on your adopted children. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. I invite you to kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Lawrence and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Remember also, o Lord, your servants reborn in baptism, whom you have been pleased to confirm by bestowing the Holy Spirit, and in your mercy, keep safe in them your grace. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you as they are passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Share with one another a sign of Christ's peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the risen Lord who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Save. 
let us pray. Accompany with your blessing from this day forward, O Lord, those who have been anointed with the Holy Spirit and nourished by the sacrament of your Son, so that with all trials overcome, they may gladden your church by their holiness and through their works and their charity, foster her growth in the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. It's a great day for us as St. Mary's Parish to celebrate with you this sacrament of confirmation. We give thanks to God for the gift of family and faith that have brought you to this day. After the final blessing, which has three parts, I invite you to respond, amen, each time I lower my hands. After that blessing, then, uh, after the song is complete, then uh, you can take pictures and the candidates uh, can uh, return their gowns and get their certificate and uh, just uh, keep that in mind, the physical distancing. The Lord be with you. May God, the Father Almighty, bless you, whom he has made his adopted sons and daughters, reborn from water and the Holy Spirit, and may he keep you worthy of his fatherly love. Amen. Amen. May his only begotten Son, who promised that the Spirit of truth would abide in his church, bless you and confirm you by his power in the confession of the true faith. Amen. May the Holy Spirit, who kindles the fire of charity in the hearts of disciples, bless you and lead you blameless and gathered as one into the joy of the kingdom of God. Amen. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.